Stepped in, bah, bah. then I've stepped out. Yeah, I'm going to show you. These are fast punches. On this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why you're probably not being able to land punches when you're sparring or in fights. Also, I'm going to give you some things that you can do the very next time you're in a gym that's going to really help you with this problem. And stick around till the end of the video where I'm going to tell you a quote that really helps me land punches. Yes, you heard it right. A quote helps us land punches. My name's Tony Jeffries, Olympic bronze medalist, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion, and today I'm joined with boxing fitness expert, my business partner, Kevin Watson. Not being able to land punches is a very common problem. Even when you're in the ring with someone who might not be as good as you, not being able to get them punches off, whatever punches you're trying to throw, is a very common problem. So the first thing that I want to talk about is being out of range. When you're out of range with someone, like now I'm out of range, if I throw a one, two, obviously I can't land the punches. I've got to get my feet closer to Kev and then throw the punches to land them. So it's important when you're doing this is you step and punch at the same time. What I don't want to do is step and not punch because I don't want to step into range and not punch because look, he's going to hit me if I'm not doing that. I want to step and punch at the same time. Boom, boom. Now he's got to defend. I've done a full video on cutting the range down and getting inside. You should check that video out because I'll break it down step by step. So yeah, if I'm getting into range, then I can throw the punches. It's common where people will be out of range, they'll throw the punches and kind of lean over and fall over the punches and then they're getting left wide open for them counter punches. And it all comes down to your footwork. Getting into range, boom, boom, you can throw the punches, then you can get straight back out and get away from them punches. So again, I've stepped in, bah, bah, then I've stepped out, defending them punches. This here is called a phase attack. And one of the best things that you can work on for your defense, getting in and out, really frustrating your opponent. And one thing to think about when you are getting in and out of range is your defense. So I wanna get into range, throw the punches. I don't wanna drop my hands and come out because I wanna leave myself open. You've gotta keep that tight guard, keep them hands up when you're getting out of range. Another thing with this is what punches are you gonna throw when you're getting into range? I don't wanna try and throw a hook and step in because these are short range punches. I wanna use my long range punches to get in there and then when I'm in there, then I can start throwing them punches around the sides like that. So yeah, your range is number one and it's a huge problem why you might not be landing punches. Reason number two is looking for power. Looking for power punches all the time. It's something that I always say is people will be loading up the punches. If I load up a big right hand and try and throw that curve, he's gone, he's away because he can see it coming. You gotta work for speed work for speed and work to try and find your range before you land them power punches. If you're leading off with big power punches all the time, chances are you're never going to land any of them. So working for speed with the jab, let's see if I'm going to punch Kev's hand here, I'm going to show you. These are fast punches and there's not much power in them at all. But if I was sparring or we were in a match, them's the punches that I'm going to find my range with before I can land the power punches. If you're trying for power every single time, again, chances are you're going to miss every single time. So make sure you're using your jab to find the range, then you can always put your power punches straight behind that jab. And number three is probably the biggest reason why you're not being able to land punches in boxing. Before I tell you this, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel where I upload lots of videos like this. Also, if you've got any questions about this, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be reading them all. So number three is fear. You're scared to throw the punches because you're afraid a counter punch is going to come back. Especially if I was in with an elusive fighter, if I'm in with an elusive fire like this, now with him moving, it makes me afraid to throw that jab. Because if I throw that jab, he could easily throw a counter and get me there. So that's why, because I'd be afraid to throw that jab. You might be hearing your corner shout, jab the body, jab the body, jab the body. But you're so afraid to throw that jab the body in case that right hand comes over there. But if you've got a good corner and good people who's coaching you, they can see something that you can't see, which is your opponent is open for that jab to the body. So you've got to throw it. You've got to get over that fear and throw the punches. And the quote that really helps me with this is a Michael Jordan quote, the basketballer. He says, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. If you're not going to throw the punches, guess what? You're going to miss and you're not going to land them. You've got to get over that fear to be able to land the punches. Any questions about this? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.